Hey, welcome to Select Arcane. The holidays are just around the corner, and I've been so busy with work that I haven't even had time to do my shopping yet. I'm going to keep this video light and simple. We're going to do a small medallion. I have a quite a few to choose from, and I'm not really sure what to do yet. I've been so busy I still have my Halloween nails. I think we'll go with this Weston, sculpted by Kylie Parks. He's a miniaturized and flipped version of West Point, Kylie Parks' original version. As you can see, he's really pretty, but he's not very festive for the holidays, so we're going to change that. Breaking out my two-part epoxy sculpt, I mix both parts equally together. It cures via chemical reaction, so I highly recommend that you wear gloves for this process. Using my color shaper tools, I mush on the epoxy onto the medallion. Do you see where this is going yet? Once I'm happy with my horsey hat, I let it cure for approximately an hour until it's hard enough that I can still work around it. And I start shaping a nice holiday wreath for around his neck. I use my tools to create kind of rough leaf shapes. And I went more stylized rather than realistic. I also rolled out some holly berries for the wreath. After I finished sculpting, I let him cure for about two hours until the epoxy is completely solid. And then I go in with my sanding sponge to just take down any rough edges. Taking him over to the sink, I wash him in anti-grease dish soap with a toothbrush. It's important to wash before priming so that the primer sticks perfectly. I leave him to dry, and then the day kind of got away from me and I had to spray him at night. So I'm spraying him in gray duplicolor sandable primer. This medallion is going to be a portrait of my previous racehorse AA Thunder Bay, also referred to as House. The next day, I started with oil paints. I know you read the title of this video and you're thinking, why is this mixed media? Well, things go a little awry later on. But first, I start by mixing linseed oil with burnt umber and I add that to the model. I use a dry fluffy brush to wipe off any excess paint. Too much paint and your medallion just won't dry. Three days later and we're at layer two, but for some reason my medallion is so shiny and maybe it's because I added too much oil, I'm not sure. I go in with some burnt umber, black, and a little bit of purple and start covering the medallion again, specifically in the darker areas like the neck and around the cheeks. And then going into the highlighted areas, I add white burnt umber and a little bit of purple there. This goes against my usual belief of just kind of going in one step at a time, but I'm really, really rushed for time for the holidays. This of course has a lot of consequences later on because once I start brushing with my fluffy brush to get rid of the excess paint, it starts getting muddy. So now I have a lot of regrets. Looking at layer two all dry, it looks so flat. So for layer three, I'm looking to emphasize the saturation and values, or in normal terms, just make it pop more. I go in with more burnt umber and black into the darker areas, and then go in with burnt umber and white into lighter areas. But again, I'm completely messing myself up and doing both of the same layer. Ugh, I'm really just kicking myself here. I add some darker points to the muzzle and eyes using gray and black. At this point, I think layer three is kind of saving the day. I feel like at this point, I'm finally starting to get somewhere. I go in with black and burnt umber again, just to emphasize the darker points. And I begin shading the hat and the wreath. I'm using blacks and burgundies in the hat and I'm using darker greens and blacks in the wreath. And this is where my mistakes start happening. I was starting to like how the medallion was turning out with just the oils, but I felt really rushed because of the holidays. I decided to prematurely spray in Tester's dull coat and start working on my acrylic layers. 
What I should have done was stayed with the oils and just kept pressing on and finished the entire medallion, like that. Instead, I let the sealant dry and I moved over to my next medium. I started with Golden Brand White Gesso. I blocked in the entire background of the medallion because my acrylic colors would not show up otherwise. The original plan was to have a nice light blue snowy backdrop. Actually, I was thinking about this drawing I did back sometime in high school. But when I laid the acrylics down, they looked so flat and boring. Also, the texture wasn't as smooth as I wanted. Scrapping my acrylics, I pulled out my gouache paints. I started panicking and swapping back and forth between gouache and acrylics for the white markings. I sketched out the pencils and then started filling in with gouache and then realized, what am I doing? I should be really doing this with acrylic paint in my usual style. So I waffled back and forth and I guess it turned out okay, but I feel like I lost some detail along the way. I thought maybe I could have some sort of gradient in the sky, but that wasn't working out either. But I did get a neat watercolor type effect and I don't know why I didn't do this exact effect on my Niji medallion when I tried to go with watercolors. I'll have to look back into that later on. After the gouache base layer dried, my boyfriend asked me why I haven't blended it yet, and then I kind of felt bad that maybe it looked a bit unfinished with the watercolor background. The bit got some silver gouache, which was already metallic, so I was at least pleased that my gouache was turning out well for something. I did the bridle in plain burnt umber to give it a bit more red compared to the body color. And I did the accent padding in gold to give it a more Christmassy feel. The edges of the medallion also got gold to match. And I added a bit of gold in the irises as well. And I added some stars, which I'm not sure if that ruined it or what. I try to cover up my mistakes with some Pearl X powder and again, I, I think I might have taken it a bit too far. I sealed in Tester's dull coat again, waited for it to dry, and then I glossed in Liquitex gloss varnish the eyes and nostrils. Sometimes I also like to gloss the crease of the mouth for a bit more realism. And this is what we were left with. To be honest, I wouldn't consider this my best work, or even close to it. There was a lot of disappointment and struggles, and I wasn't sure if I was even going to post this video and show all my struggles and all that, but I think it's important for a newer artist to see that not all pieces work out in the end, even if you have a Bachelor of Fine Art like I do. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at SelectArcane and on Facebook by the same name. Thanks so much for watching and happy holidays.